Today I'm going to show you guys how I hooked my Hobart plasma cutter into my Langmuir CNC. Okay, so I have my plasma table built. It's all set up. Uh, I just need to hook the plasma cutter into it. Um, so we are now cracking open a brand new $1,500 plasma cutter. We've got the schematics here. It's pretty obvious that this is the trigger and the two colors for the trigger are violet and orange. And if we look, this is the torch cable. And coming out of that is orange and violet. And orange and violet. So let's see. It's a normally open. And here's our cable kit. So looks like I'll be tapping with those taps. I guess they probably expect me to just do it right here. I'm gonna unplug that from the circuit board. Just uh, FYI, before touching circuit boards, static electricity can damage circuit boards, so it's a good idea to ground yourself on something that's uh, grounded, and this spot welder's currently plugged in through the uh, ground plug there, so that's grounded, so any static electricity I have would be discharged. And then I'm safe to go in and start pulling things from the circuit board. Okay, we have the meter in beep mode. We have the two wires connected to their back probes into the orange and the violet. And that goes into the torch harness, down into the torch. Now we can go ahead and splice the signal for our cable that's wired in through the box into these two wires. Then any signal that jumps these two wires will fire the torch. There's our connections. Here's our wire we have connected to the violet and the orange zip tied to the ground cable, also zip tied to this regulator and I also since I'm just gonna have this cable running through to a connector I uh, zip tied this part so that no tension can be pulled on this wire at all so it doesn't stress out any electronics in here so now we can go ahead and close this back up back together. plasma cutter tapped, the cable, signal cable for the CNC going down, and here it is running it under here, and now I'm probing the connector, and then we're gonna hit the trigger on the, on the plasma cutter to verify we did it correctly. Now we know it's functioning. So now we can plug in the torch on off cable. Great success. So this was my very first 
cut ever. This is a, a swamp cooler prop rod foot. And then now you're gonna watch the second cut ever. Oh. Well, hopefully that video was helpful to you guys. Good luck if you're building a CNC. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take it up,